I'm so glad you found my channel, Sweet Uniquities, where everything I do here is always sweet and custom for an event, making it a true uniquity. Today we're going to be doing something so adorable for Valentine's Day, watercolor toppers with gold leaf accent. So let's jump into today's project. I apologize in advance because my producer and my accountant have found the squeaky toys and I <laughs> I have tried to shoot this video now like five times and I can't I can't keep the squeakies out. So anyway, squeak for love. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple technique that actually looks like we have added a watercolor um, painting to our toppers. It's a very simple technique. It requires very little skill and um, it's just it's just a beautiful outcome so what you're gonna need to start with is some fondant that you add some either CMC powder or some Tylos to work it in really really well I would recommend for this project using white fondant because we want the colors to really shine through and if you use um, a, a, a color a color in the fondant like a pastel pink or something you really won't get that vibrant um, watercolor look, I don't think. So um, I've only ever done this on white. So um, so roll out, roll out your fondant, and then um, get some heart cutters. And at Walmart right now for 98 cents, oh gosh, you get all of these, there's a ton of them. There's a bunch, so lots of different sizes. Most of these are too, too big for the size of the cupcake that I'm going to be doing, but there are a few, so I think that I'm going to use these two. And then I have this one with a scallop edge. I'm going to use this, I've had that one a while. And then just a regular little heart, but it's a different, uh, it's a different shape of a heart. So, so just cut those out and then we're gonna put those on our rack from Dollar Tree. And then we are going to um, let those, um, let those uh, harden just a bit so that we can add the paint much easier. Um, I will link my Dollar Tree video down below in case you missed that. Um, there are a lot of great little, um, great little um, different kinds of supplies that you can use um, that are very you know inexpensive a dollar um, and also I would really appreciate it if you would like this video and sub consider subscribing because I try to um, upload once a week generally on Mondays but sometimes it doesn't always work out um, but um, I try to do a new video every week and I would love to have you come back and see all the cool things that we have going on at Sweet Uniquities. So I will see you in just a bit, and we will start with the watercolor technique. So my hearts have uh, had a little time to dry, so they're still soft, but we can go ahead and paint them. I wanna get this project done because mama needs a nap. So um, the next items that you're going to need um, for this project, and you know, really nothing says Valentine's Day quite like hearts and vodka. So you're gonna need some vodka. Um, my recommendation is don't use your good stuff for this. Um, this is no job for Tito's. Um, no offense caliber vodka, but you're kind of crappy. So we're gonna use a cheap and expensive vodka for this. You can use whatever kind you want to. You, you, you know, it doesn't matter. I just, it, the taste does not matter. Um, the reason we're using vodka is because when we add the vodka to the um, gel paste food colors, um, the vodka will evaporate um, from the topper and will, you will be left with just the color. If you try to use water to do your true watercolor um, project here, it would leave your um, topper sticky and wet and it wouldn't dry properly and it would just wind up being tacky. Um, this um, will be sticky for a while, but eventually it will, um, you know, dissipate, all the vodka will dissipate and it will dry and be, and it'll be a nice um, flat um, surface where it's not sticky. So just keep that in mind. So how I use um, the vodka um, is like this. I pour it into the cap and then I use a syringe that I just use for my toppers and I pull some up and then I'm going to put it into this um, artist artist loosely termed um, palette here. I am an artist, please, right? Sort of. Okay, so I'm gonna put um, vodka in all of those. And then I'm going to use um, some gel food color. 
Um, I picked up a couple of new ones. I normally use AmeriColor, but um, since I hadn't used the pinks for a while, they were kind of gummy and um, I was by a Hobby Lobby, so I'm trying out their Sunny Side Up Bakery brand. Um, so whatever, but you do want to use, uh, you know, some type of edible food coloring. The gels work well. So shake it up really well. This is, um, this color is called Deep Pink. I'm gonna just use a um, toothpick and I'm gonna add it to the vodka. So I'm gonna bring the camera in here. All right, so you don't wanna add a lot of color. Um, there's a little food color drop. Um, you want it to be, you know, kind of pastel -y, kind of like, um, you know, a watercolor maybe that Rembrandt would have done because, you know, that's what we're going for. So just kind of like that. Oh, there's my Instant Pot. Oh dear. Um, do you guys have an Instant Pot? I got one for Christmas and um, still trying to figure it out. I hope my kitchen doesn't explode while we're waiting uh, for me to get done with these toppers. Okay, this color is called Fuchsia. And it is definitely more purpley. It's more of a grape. I don't know that these colors are coming together real well um, across on, on camera, but it is a um, more grapey purple for fuchsia. Um, and then I'm going to use one called Violet. And this is a Maricolor. Um, it is going to look more blue, but I'm going to add and you can, if you can see that, it really does look more blue. But I'm going to mix some of that, um, probably that magenta with it. I don't, I think that my, <laughs> I think that my violet, I don't think that's really the color it's supposed to be. I just think it's kind of um, not real fresh. So the color's kind of dissipated just a tad. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a paintbrush and um, I'm gonna add a little bit of that to it. Yeah, that kind of gave it more of a, purpley blue so um, and then I'm probably gonna mix maybe one more a little more vodka and um, maybe mix the pink and I'll, I'm just using the pink that I've already put together it's a little softer um, than this first one um, because of the way I diluted it so I don't know if you can tell I have four different colors there four different shades so um, let me grab um, a, a little cup of water and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just rinsing out my brushes here. That's what I'm doing with the water. I'm gonna blot the excess. And I'm gonna start, and I got these, um, these the set of paint brushes. I got these from, uh, hello, from the Dollar Tree. And these are nice because they're a little fluffier. They're uh, synthetic, of course, but um, they're fluffier and so they do a nice job for the watercolor. So I'm gonna use the largest one. I'm gonna start with this, this heart. And you wanna start with your, your darkest color. So get some on the brush and then just kind of take your brush and kind of like, kind of pat it on there. So you see, it looks kind of like that. So I'm just gonna kind of go around and make some splotches. It's kind of therapeutic. I'm really, I think this is just really pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm on all of my toppers, I'm going to go ahead and use this, this the, the darkest one first. Um, just kind of put it around. So that is what I'm doing. Um, kind of just splotch it around.
So I have a big mess here, but I think the, um, the um, mess was worth it because they are looking so cute. So I'm gonna let these dry and then we're gonna try one more little thing on them and then we will get them on top of the cupcakes. But I am really pleased with how these turned out. I've had my nap and I feel fantastic. I'm kind of like a toddler where if I don't get my nap, I'm kind of grumpy. So I like at least one nap a week. I, the weekends I, I strive for the nap. Um, but anyway, so I had my nap and I feel fantastic, not just because of that, but because I think these turned out just so cute. You see the colors, doesn't it look like it's been, you know, that there's watercolor on it? Um, I'll show you a couple of them. Here's the one with the scalloped edge, pretty pretty. Um, here's a real pale one. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just to kind of elevate this and gild the lily, we are going to add a little bit of 24 karat gold uh, gold leaf, okay? I got this off of Amazon. It is kind of expensive, but it's not that expensive. You get not a lot, but we don't need a lot. And I think it was under $10. So it's not like it's, like it's a big price tag, but the amount you get is not very much, but just keep in mind, it is 24 karat gold, but it's like basically sheets of paper and it is edible. Um, while I napped, while I was napping, um, the, um, the vodka completely evaporated or dissipated. Dissipated, is it? The past tense of dissipate, but anyway, dissipated um, from the tops and they are completely dry. There's no stickiness. Um, and now, you know, you don't have to worry if you were concerned before, there's no alcohol content um, on these. It's not gonna affect anyone. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, you can also use um, lemon ex extract or um, I think some people use clear vanilla extract, but I generally, I mean, I've had that bottle of vodka for seriously five years. And so I just use it because it's, it, I bought it for the purpose, sole purpose of painting toppers and um, I use it a lot. So. Um, so, you know, whatever you want to use, um, but vodka is great um, and lemon extract is probably the most, sec this is second most popular way to uh, mix um, edible food colors. So we are going to take a small um, paintbrush and I'm going to just put a small amount of water where I think I was, sorry, my account is in my lap. Um, can you say hi, Charlie? <laughs> Um, but um, we are going to put a small amount of water on the toppers and then I'm going to carefully um, transfer the gold uh, leaf onto the topper that way. So I will show you how to do that right now. All right, so let's open this little dude back up. There's what it looks like. It's about one inch, not a lot. It is very, kind of silly to work with. So just be prepared. It kind of can get out of hand pretty quickly. So put a little bit of water on your on your topper and you don't open it all the way. If you just open it just a, t a little bit and then you just kind of tap it on like that, that seems to work a little bit, um, a little bit better. That way it's more controlled. pretty. One more here. I just take the gold leaf and kind of tap it on there. Oh, oh there we go. Oops, casualty. There we go. Really pretty. So I'm very happy with how they turned out. I'm gonna put these on top of the cupcakes and I will show you how beautiful the end result is. I really think these turned out so adorable. They are truly worthy of giving these to someone that you care about for Valentine's Day. The watercolor effect with the gold and the colors are just so, so cute. 
I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any future content. I would really love to have you back. So have a sweet and unique day, and I will look forward to seeing you on the next video.